In this illustration, we'll discuss a case when a swimmer crosses a river. We are given that a swimmer wants to cross a river as soon as possible, that is in minimum time. And if he crosses the river along the shortest path, it takes four seconds more than the minimum time. And if velocity of river current is eight meters per second and swimmer velocity in a still water is seventeen meters per second, we are required to find the river width. Here in this situation, we can see if uh, this is the river. We know well if uh, a swimmer crosses the river along the shortest path, the time taken will be more compared to when he heads towards uh, the normal direction of river, because in that case the time will be minimum. So if we consider two cases uh, same in going from A to B, we can see. If a swimmer is crossing the river in along the shortest path, he has to head in some direction such that when river current is added, the resulting velocity is along this. So this is the time taken when he is crossing along the shortest path. So we can write time taken by swimmer along shortest path. Is this time we can write as if river width we consider as d, and uh, swimmer velocity with respect to water is v, and uh, river current is at uh, speed u. We can write this is speed with which he'll cross as root of v square minus u square. So here t will be d divided by root of v square minus u square. And if he heads along this normal direction, he'll take minimum time in reaching, but he'll reach somewhere else. If this v, this u, this will be root of v square plus u square, and he'll reach somewhere else at point C. But as the crossing velocity of a swimmer is maximum, he'll take minimum time. So here we can write minimum time to cross the river is. This Tm we can write as d by v, and we are given that t minus Tm is equals to four because we are given that it takes four second more than minimum time if he is crossing along the shortest path. So here if we substitute the values, you can see this t is d by root of here the speed of swimmer in still water is seventeen. So the seventeen square minus velocity of river current is eight meters per second. So this eight square minus this d by seventeen is equals to four. If we simplify this, it will be d by fifteen. So this d one by fifteen minus one by seventeen is equals to four. So if we further simplify. If we further simplify, this gives us two d by fifteen into seventeen is equals to four, or the value of d is two into fifteen into seventeen, that is equals to five hundred and ten meter. That will be the final result of this problem.